Hey guys, today we will tell you how to install step-by-step uh, step the storage kit for the Husqvarna 701. The installation is pretty simple, so we believe you will make it in two, maximum three hours. Here you can see the set uh, of the storage box uh, for the KTM 690 2019 and younger. So you get the storage box itself, you get two foam filters, they are already pre old here is the dust cover, uh, here is the tube, here is the mounting pack, here is written also gas, it means gas gas, but this is unified for the KTM 690 as well as the gas gas. Yeah, and here is the cage for the foam filters, and here is the air box. The start is easy, uh, you release the seat, Now we will remove the side panels. So there is one bolt, second bolt, and one, two bolts are from, from the front. To access the bolt holding the airbox, we need to remove also the, uh, the side panels in the back. Yeah? Uh, each one is a little bit different. We will show you the details. Um, we start releasing these two bolts because it's easier to remove it, including um, the pipe cover. Don't forget there are also bolts here in the back and from the bottom. Here is a lock, so you just pull it out and here you see it like this. Here is a special lock. So what we suggest, first you take out this pin, you take it out from this side, then you take long screwdriver and you go from the other side of the motorbike and you unlock it. Take out the ignition cover, just take a lot of force and pull it up. Now we need to release um, the original airbox. So here is one bolt, there is also one on the other side. One is hidden here under the radiator, so first you have to take out the radiator. And now here behind the radiator there is a bolt holding the airbox in front side key number eight and we need to remove the seat locks now you take the screwdriver something to protect the, the frame yeah, and put it on the edge of the flange and you push it away like this you see and the airbox will, will jump out Yeah, and it's out. Yeah. Careful, lift it up. Hop. You have to be careful because here is the connector. We cut the zip tie carefully. The sensor. Disconnect this tube going to the airbox. From the right side of the motorbike, there is one more tube going to the airbox. And it's this one. There is zip tie, so cut the zip tie and release uh, the hose. And now we take out um, the original airbox. Now we need to get out uh, the rubber flange out of the original airbox. So put away the, the sleeves, release the other one. I suggest probably to, to take it totally out. Now what is important to know, the, the rubber flange is quite long. So you have to do one second, you see how long it is. Yes, yeah, so now take your thumb, squeeze it like this and get it out. We need to use also the gouge for the temperature sensor. So just remove the screws. And it's out. Now we will assemble the small airbox. First, we take this uh, reinforcement bracket, we enter it diagonally, and we get it like this under the rim. Now we take the M5 by 16 bolts and we bolt on. There are river nuts in, in the bracket, so it's easy to, to bolt on. Now we take the original heat sensor uh, and we enter it 
like this. We suggest um, the irritation point, it's, it's pointing up. And with the original screws, and with the original screws you mount it on. And you go into plastics, so you don't need to over tighten the, the screws. Now we take the original rubber intake, we push it like this, we break it, nothing will happen to it, don't worry, it's a rubber, and you insert it like this. You can see here is a mark and here is also a mark, so make sure it's aligned, yeah, and then it looks like this. Now we take the sleeves, first the bigger one, and we insert it, and this one you can tighten immediately. And now we can insert the second one and tighten it only a little bit because when you will insert it on the engine intake, you need still some flexibility. Now you take the pink hose and you, en you enter it here. And now the airbox is ready to be mounted into the motorbike. Now we take uh, the foam filter, which is already pre-oiled. So we suggest you take the uh, rubber graphs. If you don't have it, no worries, you will wash your hands afterwards. Um, here you see uh, this goes under this uh, rubber um, washer or grommet. Yes, so we turn it like this, we flip it around and we insert um, the cage into the foam filter. And we make sure that this hole is aligned with the, with the grommet hole. Now we take the airbox that is ready for the installation. Uh, first, what we suggest to do is to connect the temperature sensor. Then we put through here um, the tube. And now we can insert the airbox on the, on the engine. Secure the flange again. Um, what we recommend, you take a bit of grease yeah, and you will go here around and you will even increase um, the protection uh, or its security yeah, to get any dust inside. Now you take um, the bolt, the filter and the cage is inside. You push through the bolt yeah, and now you can have a look a little bit where it is and um, you bolt on. Now we cut the tube. And we insert it here. For a better access, when installing this tube, first you remove this bolt and this bolt. Now you prepare the tube. It goes more or less this way. Here goes behind. What we suggest now, um, you take the pliers, yeah, you put it inside, you try to open it a little bit, heat gun, and you heat it up to be able to mount it on this. We need to install this T, so first we need to do one cut here. If you put a little bit of grease on the T, it will be easier to insert it. Take a little bit of grease. It is easier to insert it then. Now we take these two thread inserts. What we recommend First take your screwdriver, try to open it up a little bit. Yeah. And then you insert it here on the frame. Because it will help you to mount this plastic to the frame. And you do the same on the other side. Now you take uh, the M5 by uh, 12 bolts and you mount the plastics to the thread inserts. You use the original bolts and you mount back the radiator. Now we prepare the bracket that holds the tank. 
two spacers, two bolts M5, uh, sorry, two bolts M6 by 16 with the rim and two uh, nuts. Here you can see that the, the bolt goes from outside, then there is a spacer, then there is a bracket, and then there is a nut. Tied only to certain moment, then what is important to align uh, this hole with the hole of the grommet, because the pins from the plastics go there. Guys, um, you put the Velcro on, uh, the way that then the, the back side you, you is visible from here, yeah, then you can put all the plastics on except this one bolt. Yeah, this one you will put at the last one after you lock with the Velcro. Before you insert the tank or the storage box, here is very stiff harness and here is a zip tie. So we suggest cut the zip tie and you move the harness a little bit under the frame tube. So you gain here a little bit more space. Now we take the storage box and two bolts and 5 by 16 from us. You align the holes here and you bolt on. Now you take the Velcro, you go under the frame tube, you go under the frame tube but above um, the tubes and secure it and last thing you put here the bolt now put back the original cover mount the seed, lo seed locks now you can put back mm, the seat on Guys, uh, so the installation is finished. It took us about two hours and we did the videos in Minival. So we believe uh, you'll make it in the same time as well. Yeah. So once you have it, congratulations, you're a great mechanical job and we wish you a great season with your amazing motorbike.